Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pete with your word for the day. So when my family and I were on the mission field, we lived in a very cold climate. We were just a few miles south of the Siberian region of Russia and winters were very cold. We lived in a log cabin and we heated with wood. So at night we would get a good base of coals and then we would load up our wood burning stove and shut down the vents. And what this would do is it would make the wood inside the stove burn slowly and continue to produce heat for most of the night. Now, when we got up in the morning, um, I had one hope and I hoped that there would be some coals left in the stove. See, if there were coals left in the stove, I could open the vents and add some wood and the fire would easily revive again. And then we could hop back into bed and wait for the house to get warm. But if the coals had gone out during the night, that meant an extended amount of time in a cold house getting the fire going again. And of course, we always wanted to get the fire revived and producing heat as quickly as possible. In today's Psalm, the focus is on being revived. You see, the people of Israel had rebelled against God and they had sinned and rejected God as their ruler. So they had come into his judgment and their relationship with God was cold and they didn't experience his blessing anymore. So let's look at Psalm 85 verses four through seven and see what the psalmist wrote. Restore us again, O God of our salvation and put away your indignation toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. So today, do you feel a need to be revived? Do you know that your relationship with God is colder than it should be? Is the passion and fire that you once felt slowly dwindling to just a few embers? If so, let me encourage you to make this Psalm that we just read your prayer. Ask God to restore you. Ask him to revive your spiritual life within him. And as you pray this Psalm, think about what might be done to open up those vents and to give your spiritual fire some more fuel. Maybe like the Israelites, you need to turn from some sin. Or maybe you need some time with a good Christian friend to experience fellowship and encouragement. Perhaps you need to get into the word with a fresh perspective. Whatever you need to be revived in the Lord, take some time to pursue it today. Don't let the spiritual fire and passion burn out completely. Ask God to revive you. If today's word has encouraged you, would you like it, share it, or leave a comment below and have a blessed day.